Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into game, you can see next week the Easter event is coming. We have the Butler Roadster, the Crown, the Kite, and the Zephyr Evo. And we now have the ability to boost races or events with gold for bigger payouts. A new limited weekly car, which I think is a Zephyr Evo. And heading into game, if you look at one of the races or events in the top of the screen, you have this boost button and you can pay a certain amount to boost the earnings you get from it. So to increase the earnings to 1.25, you can pay 15 gold. So if you have excess gold and don't wanna spend it on the cars in the gold shop, you can get more money from the races and events. And you can also work together with your friends to get a super high multiplier and make way more money. And next to the spawn area, you can see that there's the Easter area over here, which is coming next week. And if you go into the money area and go to passes, you can see that they changed out the starter car. And I think this is a car that you could already get in the shop and if you head into the gold shop you can see that there's a brand new pack called the cinema classics pack and here are the customizations on all of them starting off with the crown Next, we have the Butler Roadster. And lastly, we have the Kite. We also have this new event called Flight Zone, and heading into this, you can see that you have to hit these ramps and get air score for it. And as you can see, they actually fixed the air score, so it's not bugging whenever you're up in the sky now. And it doesn't matter how high you're up in the sky or how long you've been up in the sky, it'll always count. Now, this is a really easy way to get air score for the weekly quest. And with that, I'll show you the five parts in the USA map. For this first part, head over to this race, Turbine Turmoil. And right next to the circle, you'll see the part. For the second part, head over to this race right here, Freeway Speedway. And right on this bridge, you'll see the part in the middle of it. For the next part, all the way down at the pyramid, head over to this food delivery spot right here. And you'll see this part right on this path in front of the pyramid. For the second to last part, head over to this race right here, Jumping Jacks. And on top of this ramp, you'll see the part right here. And for this last part, you can head over to Jumping Jacks again. And you'll want to take this ramp up onto the highway and you'll see it right in the middle. And with that, let's grind the rest of these weekly quests.
This is what it looks like when someone spams the boost button. And there you go, that's what happens once you finish a race. And this one has a five times multiplier, so I made 76,000 from that one race. And I think it might also boost the XP, but I'm not too sure on that. The Nitrous Quest takes way too long, but here's the car, and this car actually has no customizations at all. There's also a brand new race called Reckless Raceway. It's a little bit basic. Some other small updates, they changed the names of most of the Porsches in the game. So as you can see, they're not all named Nimbus anymore, only the Hooligan Nimbus is named that. But you can still search up Nimbus and they'll all come up. And for example, if you to find the ST3 RS, you can search it up and you'll still find it. Another big issue that's been fixed, if you try and sit on the first checkpoint and leave the race and start up another shadow race, it doesn't count the first checkpoint, meaning you can't skip most of the race by doing this. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video.